So, it has been a while. Sorry I haven't been posted often. I've been very busy lately. But again, I haven't really showed you this. This is practically the beginning of my circuit layout. It's going to be double tracked, so if I was only single tracked. But this is not why I'm here today. I'm here because I have been getting a couple of models which I'll have, I haven't shown you. I'll show you in maybe a collection video. But today I'm going to show you my, my first Rapido Trains model. The Hunzit 16 inch saddle tank. So these tank engines were built by, obviously, as you could state, by Hunzit for industrial workings. I think the last the last of these engines were built somewhere in 1950s. I don't really know much of, about the the manufacturing, but there are a lot of them. The one I bought is num is Hollybank in its beautiful um, MB. Wait, National Coal Board. Yeah, National Coal Board livery. So, I've already gotten a good look of it. These are the instructions. They tell you um, how to fix the model. There we go. Yes. Hold on, what's this mean? I don't, I don't know what this is. Let's open it. There we go. There we go. Very protective of the model. So we all know Rapido for their J7 T tram engine. They've even made a stern single, which I'm most likely never going to get. Because those things cost for like 700 or 800 pounds on eBay. But this one was very cheap. It's a cheap model to get. And I wanted this one specifically because it's from one of my native railways, the Chase Water Railway. Just look at her. Oh my god, that's some, that's some lovely detailing. So she worked to the National Gold World until she was withdrawn somewhere in the 60s or maybe even the 70s we I may mean, not even know but she is a beautiful engine blue is so right on a steam engine i just look at this livery this wasn't the livery i was suspecting to see it like it's a bit darkish i know it, it's more light bluish in real life i think but i'm not complaining it is lovely Though it has a lot of plastic on it, but it's surprisingly heavy. Though the detailing it is just beautiful. But let's give her a quick test run. Right, so oh, well, I. I I forgot that they did a light up firebox. Yeah, a good run so far. Yeah, my layout isn't perfect right now, so the flippers are probably not the best performers, but I'd say it's a good performer. Now let's see how well it is with a cool. Hold on. Ah, oh, damn it, the controller this happens a lot. Yeah, just give the controllers a bit of time. It does that a lot. It's not due to the model, it's due to the track. But still, good model, I wasn't suspecting it. I was shocked, I forgot that they added that. I already love this model. Much more better than the, like, than, 
like I, I, because when my kind of doll model that you guys may see, I was actually suffering a tiny bit of problems with its performance recently. It's not extremely bad. Yeah, that was a very terrible call. Yeah, see, the see the, the problem with this is that sometimes it doesn't really transfer the electricity into the model. And because of that, yeah, the models don't work. All right, let's get her hooked to these four-wheel carriages. And see so, yeah, how it's hopefully the control. Give it a quick performance with some pictures. Sure, it would have made sense to give, uh, like, a call a couple of wagons, but I thought it would give me a lot seeing the beautiful coaches. Not the exact one she would probably pull, the one she would be pulling at Mark 1s, but I don't have any Mark 1s yet. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please like and you know what, you know the stuff. Just, yeah, I'm not gonna do all that stuff. It's annoying whenever YouTubers do it. Anyway, bye.